Hello everybody, back here again with our vlog a day, and today is Friday the 27th, and today was a rather beautiful day weather-wise most of the day, except we had a weird spell of about a half an hour where it like rained. It came up out of nowhere, started raining, and then I'd say about five minutes into it, just torrential downpour for 15 minutes. It was super, super weird. Um, it was about that time I was going to head out to go to the gym and go do some running. And I thought, oh, great, I'm going to get a run in the rain, which I haven't done for quite a while. So I took some different shoes and different outfit to take to the gym. And also decided to go ahead and leave the dog home because when he's with me in the car or van, the window's down, fan's going, all that kind of stuff, not a big deal. But with the torrential downpour, I wasn't going to be able to have the windows down. He was going to be stuck in there. Not worth it at all. So went ahead. By the time I got stuff around, it had... The torrential downpour stopped and it was just kind of just raining, but not horrendous rain. It looked like it was going to rain more. So I went ahead and left him here, headed out, um, ended up doing some errands I had to go run to. Had to run to the post office and bitching and playing about the fact that this is the third time in three weeks the postal carrier has dropped off a package of mine by trying to stuff it in the mailbox when it's too big to fit in the mailbox or by just leaving it on the ground. Like there was a four foot long package that they just throw on the ground on a day it had been raining all night and most of the morning. The second one was a package that was laying on the ground. I think they might have tried to set it on top of the po on the mailbox because it was laying virtually directly below it. And then the one that was bitching about today up there was actually from Wednesday. It was my hydro pack from Camelback. And it looked like they tried to stuff it in the mailbox because the door was still open, but it was laying on the ground below it. And even if I tried to put it in there to see if it fit, wouldn't even come close to fitting in my damn mailbox. And I've got a giant, big, like, farm-style mailbox. But my mailbox is literally three and a half feet away from my porch. So, like, it's the bottom of, there's four steps there. It's the very bottom of those four steps. So she could have taken one extra step, you know, to her left, and then just kind of laid it on the porch step, up out of the rain, up off the ground, all that good stuff. And this is the third time, and she hasn't done it. And it's just like, what the hell? I've called and bitched about it. And the lady, the postmaster up there, acted like she didn't really know what was going on. She didn't want, she was trying to figure out how what the thing looked like and whatnot. So I went ahead and took a picture of it. Wednesday, ran up there today, showed her. She seemed super, you know, like concerned about it. First postmaster we've actually had here that's ever actually given this shit in the past. They've all just sucked like no end. This woman seems to care, but I've got stuck with the lazy, no good carrier, unfortunately. So like I told them, I said, it's not that big a deal. I'm not trying to be a complete dick, but it kind of is a big deal. FedEx, UPS, they bring the stuff up. They put it on my porch. Um, you guys can do the same thing. It's I can also understand if it's 150 yards from like the road to my front porch or my mailbox to the front porch. Whole different world, but it's not. It's literally feet away. Like I mean, it's one extra step and lean forward is all you have to do. And the fact that she's leaving stuff out on the ground on wet ground, chance of rain coming up, that kind of stuff. It's just it's annoying as all get out. Plus, it's just that discouraging feeling when I get there. I get that like feeling of disgust in my heart when I see this lazy person that's making so much more money than what they're worth in the process of carrying mail and they just they can't take one extra step and lay it on the porch it drives me nuts so went ahead and bitched about that she said she talked to her had me email the picture to her so she can actually show the person and you know kind of confront her about it a little bit better hopefully it gets taken care of she said if i have any more concerns to let her know of course but i'm kind of thinking this is the third damn time in three weeks and i'm letting you know you've got to do something to fix this because just me telling you every time just waste my time waste your time so fix the problem or eliminate the problem one of the two so who knows i don't know if she does this to everybody i don't know if she just does this to me i have no clue it just makes no damn sense to me so we'll see what happens here and hopefully she'll get it solved hopefully she'll move on from there so who knows other than that um i did go out and get my I went to the gym and spent like I don't know, spent the time I need at the gym on a bike and whatnot, whatever. They got the air conditioning in the gym fixed, so I was pretty excited about that. Although it was kind of that weird chilly side where it's too damn cold in there again. I don't know why they think it has to be it's so cold in that gym. It makes no sense at all. But you're like starting to sweat and your body's freezing to death in the same process. It sucks. So anyway, uh, went ahead, left there, and the weather was nice. The rain had stopped and that stuff was at the gym. So I said, heck with it, came home, grabbed my dog, um, my hydro pack and that. Wasn't planning on going that far. Oh, excuse me. But decided to heck with it. And normally I would drive down to like some of the trails and stuff. I was going to run. I was, just, I was only planning on running like a mile or two today because my marathon a couple days ago really kind of kicked my butt overnight. Figured I'd just go ahead and make a short little run. But said to heck with it, grab my hydro pack. Um, actually grabbed some trail mix too. I haven't 
eating that stuff yet. Bought some new planters trail mix here a while back at High V. Super cheap, like 80 cents or some junk for a giant bag. Six servings worth. And Bruce and I took off. Um, we just took off running from here. Ran down to the reservoir. It has some trails there and stuff. It was a couple miles, a little over two miles when we got to the little bench there. Sat at the bench and kind of let him run around, the, you know, play in the water a little bit there and kind of look for squirrels and that kind of stuff. Well, I sat there probably half an hour, ate some of my trail mix, kind of checked a few things on my phone, and just kind of enjoyed being outside, not running. It's one of the things I realized I'm either in my shop working um, with door open stuff or mowing a lawn or I'm running. Those are the only three times I'm outside anymore. I never just sat around and do not I take it back or I'm in a tunnel with my buddy um, hanging out smoking cigars but other than that like I never I just don't sit outside and just look at things I don't I don't do that at all so kind of enjoyed that today finished up there went ahead and made the loop the rest of the way around the res oh shit sorry about that made the loop the rest of the loop ran back home so I ended up like 4.75 miles something like that in the run so much fun I wanted to but the little break in the middle and I ran super slow so it was no real big issue there worrying about it so I did end up talking to a friend quite a bit tonight, um, text messaging back and forth and stuff. They've got a run tomorrow. I think it's a little 5K, if I remember right, and they're going to try and, you know, kick some ass, uh, 50 years old, and they're hoping to win at least age group and hoping to place top three, I think, overall of the whole thing. So wishing them luck. Hopefully they'll do good. Uh, I had a friend of mine who is doing a, like, 71-mile bike ride tomorrow with a group. I'm not sure what the... What do it? Not really sure what event it is, but they're up, spend the night in Des Moines in a hotel because I guess the race starts pretty early in the morning. I don't know if the race, it's a ride anyway. Um, don't know if it's a like bacon ride or what the heck it is. They usually do more gimmicky type rides than that, so hopefully they have a good time. Um, other than that, don't really know of much going on. Just watched some Netflix and had myself some delicious uh, ham steak and going to call it a night, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.